Christians in right in this neighborhood. And there's a lot of Jews in this neighborhood. It is very important we all come together and understand one thing. We all got to come together against hate crime. We got to always remember one thing. Remember one thing. Attack on one, attack on all. Attack on one, attack on all. Attack on one, attack on all. Attack on one. When two men outside Full Locker approached me and my friend, one of the men said that I had five seconds to take off my sweatshirt or he was going to punch me. He then called my friend and I dirty Jews. He asked what we're doing in his neighborhood. When I refused to take off my sweatshirt, he punched me twice in the face. Before running away, he spilled his iced coffee on my sweatshirt. I can't believe that we are in 2022 and in the United States and still experiencing anti semitism I am proud of being a J Jewish. I am proud of where I come from. I will never remove anything just because someone told me to. Stand up for what you believe and always remember who you are. I am still in shock, but, but I will not take this experience for granted. We all need to come together. Most importantly, we need to make sure that our voices are heard. All life matters. All life matters. All life matters. All life matters. We were at 10.55, we came out of my car, and when we came out of my car, uh, we were approached by two men. One of the men came up and said, you guys support the dirty Jews. Everybody, um, please pay no mind when he, when we walked toward, when we tried to avoid him to walk towards the door, um, he got punched two times in the face, he threw coffee at him. Um, they said if I got involved, I would get hit also. I was attacked okay, everybody, everybody for wearing this sweatshirt. And when, when he asked me to take it off, that I had five seconds, I did not take it off. And then he proceeded to punch me two times. And then before running away, he threw his ice cold for me. I didn't know I tried to, wanted to help Blake so he doesn't get hurt. And I didn't know what to do. I called 911 right away. And that was the case. Jewish blood is not cheap. Jewish blood is not cheap. Jewish blood matters. Jewish blood matters. I was in shock. Like I had no idea what was going on. It was like Sunday morning. I thought it was just gonna be like I'm just gonna go inside the store, get some sneakers, go home. And guess it wasn't like that. We are Jews. And if you can't hear us, we are Jews. Like on the upper side. I hope that it doesn't happen to anyone. Like not, not, no one should be scared of who they are to walk the streets. I should be able to wear this and, and, go, and walk. They should be able, someone else should be the same way. No one should be scared. Anti-Zionist! Free Palestine! Free Instead of having sensitivity to the suffering of a whole people, they come in into their neighborhood. Imagine going into a black neighborhood with a with an N-word T-shirt to a Jewish neighborhood with the Nazi symbol, with the swastika. My grandparents were killed in Auschwitz, as the majority of our relatives. Imagine coming into our neighborhood and something would happen. We're not condoning violence, but but instead of teaching them sensitivity and they should what they should be going and bringing flowers and apologizing to the Palestinian people, they're coming in support. It's mind blowing, but that's what Zionism is. They've thrown away godliness and the morals of God.